military families move up to 10 times more often than regular civilian families, moving every two to three years. To uproot your family and move them every a few years is a lot to ask of a person. Job security for one often means job insecurity for the other. Here at Maelstrom Air Force Base, they're making jobs for spouses a lot easier to find. We saw a need in our service members and their dependents looking for opportunities within the community to look for employment, to look for education, resources to allow them to become established here while they're uh, serving the community and living in Great Falls. According to Women's Bureau, 13% of military spouses are unemployed, while only 30% have licensed occupations. This career and education fair is meant to bridge that gap and provide opportunities. Staff Sergeant Mayhew struggled to find schooling when she first arrived in Great Falls, which is exactly why she's so passionate about this program. So I was actually one of those in need. Uh, I was an A1C here uh, my first year, and I was looking for a university to start my bachelor's program. In 2019, there were 32 vendors. Last year, there were 42 committed, and then this year, there are 49 vendors expected to attend, one of which the Chamber of Commerce. Great companies that really specifically target military spouses, just for that reason. Uh, they know they're dependable, they know that they're responsible, they know that they're going to show up on time. And so we have a number of specific companies that really do try to reach out and get military spouses. The waiting, the heartbreak, the uncertainty, and the moving around are all sacrifices that military spouses make on a daily basis. However, one thing that this fair hopes to prove is that your education and independence are not a sacrifice you have to make. Taking care of the military life cycle, whether you're brand new as an airman from tech school or whether you are looking to retire, you have so many opportunities and it's never too early to consider what life outside of the Air Force and outside of the uniform is. This event will be held on Thursday from 2 to 5 and is only available for those who have base access. In Great Falls, Lindsay Stinger, MTN News.